Hello everyone, welcome back to another episode of Spotlight of the Day series and today we have a library called Rhythm.js So it's a funny library, <laughs> what this library does is it makes your page dance, it makes your website or web page dance It's a funny library but it can be used, like uh, it could be useful in uh, certain uh, situations, it could be useful in certain apps For example if you're making any music app and if you want to make certain elements like logo or uh, let's say some images you want, if you want to uh, make those uh, elements move as per the music that you're playing or as per some sounds that you're playing then this library could be really useful it's it's funny uh, i don't know if they have actually created this for some real use case or just as a funny library but i found it quite funny and i, I enjoyed uh, just going through the demos of this library so let me play it again or play it once again for you i'll start the demo and as per the music, you can see all these elements will be dancing. Avatar, these elements. You can even make the font color change as per the rhythm. You can make the font dance by increasing the font size. Even the border width, like you can change the border width as per the rhythm. And then we have. Let me stop the demo. Uh, I'll just pause the audio. Yeah, you can still see this and um, yeah you can you can like uh, make make a lot of elements dance border color then uh, even the kerning of the font blur you can even change the blur it gives a nice effect you can make it swing let me switch it on this is a nice effect <laughs> you can see here even the we see here even the image is dancing Let's drop the beat. <laughs> yeah, just grooving to the music. And yeah, it's a it's a funny library. And let's see how to use this. So as usual, you can install this library using uh, CDN link, or you can use it. Uh, you can install it from npm or yarn with just one command. And the usage is also quite simple. So once you install the library, you need to, so let's say you want to make certain elements dance. For example, let's say you want to make this logo dance or some, or this image dance. So all you need to do is you need to give a class called rhythm base for the, for the element. You can either give rhythm base or rhythm medium or rhythm high. So depending on that, the rhythm, like it will make it dance like higher or in a medium pace or in a normal pace. So if you see this, this is just normal pace and uh, uh rhythm high yeah this is kind of medium so it it kind of gives a different effect based on the class that you give and it has even more uh, options like for example you can make it twill make it tilt you can uh, make the dance make the font change make the font dance everything you just need like one line of code for everything so yeah that's how you use it it's pretty simple to use and i found it uh, quite uh, interesting i found this library quite interesting so I wanted to share it with you guys in the spotlight of the day series. So if you are building any music player app or if you are building something related to sounds or music in any of your apps, then you can try to use this library to create some interesting effects and to make it more uh, engaging to your viewers or to your app users. So yeah, I think this is a very nice library. So check it out. I'll, I'll put the link in the description. Try it out. Use it in your practical uh, projects. Maybe it will be helpful and i hope you liked it if you liked it do leave a like and subscribe to the channel and do turn on the notifications by clicking on the bell icon and i'll see you tomorrow again with another library or another exciting news in the spotlight of the day series so i'll see you guys tomorrow see you bye bye